All right, let's continue solving our inequalities. We'll make it just a little more exciting, just a little more difficult, but not, not too badly. All right, here's our first one. What do we need to do? We need to move the, we need to add the opposite to the 15 and move it to the other side, okay? So let's do a plus 15. That clears that out and a positive 15 over here. Now, I, the only thing different here is I, I have a lot of, uh, of x's now instead of just 1x or a negative 1x. So I now have 5x is less than a whole bunch of 20. The x is positive, so the only thing I really need to do is divide by 5. If 5 is, if 5x is less than 20, I'm interested not in 5x, but I'm interested in how much 1x would be. So let's divide by 5. And when we do that, 5 into 5 is 1x. The sign remains the same because the x was never negative. And 5 into 20 is 4. The answer is x is less than 4. OK, let's try this one. Actually, there's not much to do here. We have the variable on one side and the number on another side, so it looks to me like all we need to do is just divide by the number of x's we have. All right, so I'll divide both sides by 2. There's no sign change because the variable is positive. 2 into 2 is 1x. The sign remains the same, and 2 into a negative 2 is a negative 1, okay? All right, let's try, uh, let's try some more. Okay, how about this one? I have 4x plus 12 is less than 12. I did this on purpose to you. Something different's going to happen. All right, it's time to tell the 12 to move over. Positive 12, let's add a negative 12 to that to clear it out. Negative 12. Now let's look what we have here. We have 4x, pretend like those are four people. We have four people, and over here, a positive 12 and a negative 12 is zero. So imagine four people are going to get no cookies at all. Well, if four people aren't getting any cookies, one person's not getting any cookies either, are they? So I'm still going to divide both sides by four. But when you divide four into four, you do get 1x. The sign does remain the same. And when you have a fraction and a zero on the top, it simply says, I have nothing. The answer is zero. 1x is less than zero. So if your number clears out to zero and you still have a bunch of x's, you still have to divide by the number of x's you have. And when you get down to 1x, the answer is still zero. That's why I gave you that problem. OK? Let's try this one. Oh, I think we'll go 5. Uh, no, I think we'll go no. Let's try this one. I'm going to go negative 4x plus 8 is greater than a negative 20. All right. Now, let's move the 8. I'm going to take away 8. Clear. I'm going to do a negative 8 over here. I have a negative 4x is greater than, now you have a whole bunch of negative here, so add it up for a total negative of negative 28. Okay, now our job now is to divide both sides by negative 4. <clears throat> and when we do that, negative into a negative makes a positive. Negative into a negative makes a positive. Now you know what I'm getting ready to say here. We just divided by a negative because our variable was negative. So you know at the end we've got to change the direction of that sign. So x is less than 7, and that's a perfectly good answer. Okay? All right, let's see if I can get another one here for you. Okay, I'm going to go 2x plus 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 8. Now, I did this on purpose, too. I've been too kind to you. I haven't made you uh, combine any like terms yet on one or both sides. So you know before we move anybody 
or anything to another side, we've got to combine like terms. And this one is requiring that. So nobody moves until we combine like terms. On the left-hand side, we have 2x plus 3x minus 4. Now we need to combine our 2x and our 3x before anybody goes anywhere. So let's combine them for a total of 5x minus 4, and we'll continue writing less than or equal to 8. Okay. Now, we know what comes next. We're going to move the 4 to the other side. So we'll do a plus 4 to clear and a plus 4. I now have 5x is less than or equal to, and that's going to be a positive 12. Make that look better. All right. So we have 5x is less than or equal to a positive 12. We can't stop yet. We haven't made it down to a positive 1x. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5. 5 into 5 is 1x. And I can't do anything with 12 over 5. I mean, I could turn it into a mixed number, but it's really not necessary. And it can't be reduced because you have 5 as a prime number. So we can just keep it as 12 over 5. And it's okay if you have a fractional answer. It happens sometimes. And that's perfectly okay. Just remember to be on the lookout to combine your like terms on one or both sides before you ever begin the movement process. Okay? Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to do a negative 23 plus 6 is greater than or equal to 6x plus 4 minus 5x. Now, we've got a lot of combining to do here. Look on the left-hand side here. We've got a negative 23 and a positive 6. On the right-hand side, we've got a 6x and a negative 5x. Nobody's moving anywhere to you combine like terms. Okay, here we go. Okay, you have a negative 23 and a positive 6. Well, the difference between a 23 and a 6 looks like a 17. But what kind of 17 is it going to be? It's going to be a negative 17. That's right. So I will put a negative 17 right there. I'll keep my sign. Now let's go ahead and grab that 6x and that negative 5x. Well, a positive 6 and a negative 5 makes a positive 1x, doesn't it? So I'll put a 1x plus 4. Now it looks like we can make some moves here. This time, I'm not going to move the 17 over to the other side. I need to isolate the x, and he happens to be on the right-hand side. Okay, let's tell the 4 to move. Take away 4. Take away 4. We now have a big bunch of negative 21. We have a greater than or equal to, and we have x. If you decide that you want to make x go on the other side, Remember now that x is less than when you read from this side. So if we move the x over here and we move the negative 21 over here, you're going to have to switch that sign so it will remain saying the same thing as it did before we switched them. Just a thought, but you don't have to do that. Okay? All right, let's try another. Okay, I have some uh, distribution and combined like terms in this one. I have x minus 6 minus 2, x plus 6, greater than 0. Now notice this time that everything is on the left-hand side. The numbers, the variables, you got parentheses, you got a mess here. Okay, what are you going to do first? We're going to distribute first. So let's do x minus 6. Now that's a negative 2 times x, so that's a negative 2x. That's a negative 2 times a positive 6, which is a negative 12 greater than 0. Okay, now that I've distributed, it's time to grab all of the variables and all of the numbers. Okay, we have a positive 1x and we have a negative 2x. When you take the difference, the difference is 1, but it is going to be a negative x because I've got more negative than I do positive. So I'm going to say a negative 1x. I have a negative 6 and a negative 12. Bring all that negative together for a negative 18. And now we can put our greater than and 0. Now we can move the 18 to the other side with a plus 18 
to clear, and a plus 18. And when I get finished, I have a negative 1x is greater than 18. But I better not stop there because I have a negative variable and we're not going to deal with a negative variable. Let's divide by a negative 1. And when you do that, what do you have for an answer? 1 negative into a negative is a positive, so I now have x. And you know the sign has to change because I just divided by a negative, didn't I? Okay, sign change. And a negative into a positive is a negative. So there's our answer right there. We had to distribute. We had to combine like terms. We had to move numbers. We had to change the sign. There's a lot to be done, but I think you can do it. All right, and let me try another one for you. Three x plus 15 over two. Okay, now what do you think we ought to do about this one? I really don't want to deal with denominators, so there is something that we can do about this. Do you know that we could multiply both sides by two? And in doing that, we can get rid of that denominator. Let me show you what I mean. If I get ready to multiply this whole thing by two, and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna multiply this six by two, I get ready to multiply, but look, these will clear out, won't they? Perfect. So that clears out, and now I have 3x plus 15 is greater than or equal to 6 times 2, which is 12. All right, and now we're back to something pretty easy. Let's just tell the 5 to move to the other side. I mean, excuse me, the 15. Take away 15. Take away 15. We now have 3x is greater than or equal to. Look at it. Take the difference, please. Go negative negative 3. Now, I don't see a negative x, so I'm not worried about moving the sign. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3. 3 into 3 is 1x, and a 3 into a negative 3 is a negative 1. So our answer is x is greater than or equal to a negative 1. Okay, that was good. We'll do a few more in our next video with maybe some additional little minor rules, okay?